Hello, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. As you can see, I'm at home. I'm not down the allotment today because I've just finished work and um, I've got some chores to do at home. But this is probably one of my most favourite videos of the year. And that is where I show you the seed potatoes that I'm growing this year. In here, you can see, this is the bottom, <laughs> the bottom drawer of my fridge. And it's now time for me to reclaim this and get all of my potatoes out and ready for chitting on the windowsills. So before we delve into um, the box of potato goodies, I will just say um, that usually I would buy in seed potatoes online and also buy about three two kilo kilogram packs from a shop called Wilco. Uh, but due to restrictions this year on going out to the shops, I haven't actually got any from Wilco because two weeks ago, before we were kind of put into this lockdown, I had gone into Wilco's and they didn't have any in stock. And the, the localist Wilco to me is about a 20 minute drive. And obviously that really goes against trying to stay home and not going shopping and stuff. And the reason that I haven't bought any seed potatoes online is because last year I bought a pack from I can't remember the name of the company, so um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess because I'm, I was really disappointed with the harvest I had from those and um, the quality that I received. Um, and one lot actually had to be replaced. So I thought, do you know what? Unless I can see the potatoes, I'm not going to be buying any. I last year I got Sarpamira potatoes from a shop called Dobby's. Uh, we have one of those garden centres in Wales. But unfortunately, it's completely closed. And when I looked online to see if I could do click and collect, that wasn't possible either. So this year, I've only got very few bought um, seed potatoes, but the rest are saved from last year. Also, I am filming on a new camera and it's got a special autofocus setting. I think I've got it set right. Um, however, if it is going a little bit out of focus when I'm filming this, I am really sorry, but I'm just going to have to learn as I go along. Um, like I showed you a minute ago, here is the very heavy box and I am so pleased to get them out and have a look. It's really important and I think this year more than ever, if you haven't got your seed potatoes yet, make sure you go and buy them as soon as you can. There are loads of companies online that um, you, know, you can get them from. I just decided not to for the reasons that I've told you. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Let's just, well, I'm not going to stop talking, but I'm going to start talking about the potatoes that are in here. So I'm just going to grab each one and go from there. So the first lot of potatoes are bought in potatoes. I got these in a shop called Home Bargains. Uh, we have a Home Bargains about a five minute drive down the road from me and I do go there for um, some essentials when I'm going um, on the school run. So this one here is called um, Sharps Express. It's a first early potato. I usually grow Rocket first earlies and they're from Wilco. Not got any of those this year. So I thought I would go with these. These are 99 pence and there's eight in the pack. Only issue with going for those kind of um, cheap shop seed potatoes um, for about 99p is the actual seed potatoes are quite small and generally you want to go for one that's more of an egg shape um, or egg size but yes there is that one and that is a first early and sharps express never grown this before so if you're if you've grown it before let me know what you think of those ones right the next ones i've got are mozart and this is for the one and a half kilogram potato challenge that i set up for this year i've not taken these out of the plastic bag yet but these will be coming out of the plastic bag very soon so they can start chitting and they don't they don't go bad or anything um, but yes those ones are mozart and um i'm quite excited to be growing those also those are a main crop The next lot of potatoes here is also a main crop and this is called Maris Piper. Never grown these before at all and um, again I just picked those up because they were in the um, shop for 99p and you've got eight in there and this says chips, mash and roast potatoes. So we'll see how we get on with those. I know I've got my favourites that I've grown in the past so um, it'd be interesting to try a few others because sometimes we get stuck, don't we? Uh, always going for the same varieties of things. And the next lot I've got here is a salad potato called Charlotte. Um, 
I've never grown these before. Maybe I've grown these years ago, but they're a favourite of Charles Dowding's and um, loads of people absolutely love growing these, so I thought I would give these a go. I do actually think that I bought... I did think that I bought two lots of these, but by the look of it, I've only got one, um, and there is six in there. And then the next lot is Sharps Express again, so that's the first early, so I obviously decided to go for two of those. Maybe I got two of those instead of the Charlottes, I can't remember. And then now we are going on to the mostly saved seed potatoes that I've got. But I made sure I labelled them. So in this old, <laughs> in this very old bread bag, we have um, the Sarpameras. So I've got quite a few of those. As you can see, they have started to sprout and they're a little bit damp. I put these, I put these in the um, fridge once I harvested them. I don't know if you remember watching that video where I had a really bad harvest because I did them no dig, but I didn't actually bury them far enough and I lost quite a lot of the crop. Um, but as you can see, they have started sprouting now. So what I'm going to do with the ones like this is I'm just going to take those off and then when they start chitting, I'll get some really strong chits. But yes, that is Sarpamira. And one important thing is to make sure that they are dry when they go into the bag, um, because that one looked like it was still a little bit damp. But yeah, one bag, I don't know how many I've got in there. Um, but yes, really happy. They, so far, out of all the potatoes I've ever grown, were the best ever. And Sarpamira, they can grow really, really, really big, but also they are blight resistant. Um, in here in Wales, you know, we get quite damp, humid summers and you can get blight quite a lot. So I'm really pleased that I've got those and that I've managed to save some to grow on next year. And... Also, I have no idea what is in here. Um, I did write at the very top though. So, oh, these are Mayan gold, um, but these are damp. And look at what has happened. These have gone mouldy because they're damp. I stupidly obviously have not dried these out. I'll show you, see if I can show you what the bag looks like. Can you see what is inside there? Also, that is a, it really smells. So there you go, make sure you dry your seed potatoes. And I'm really glad that I have taken these out now to realize this, because if you have to go and buy any online, it can take a little while to come. And I think this year, they're gonna get sold out really, really quickly. So those ones are for the compost bin. Okay, so I haven't actually labelled these ones, but I did a video about these, so I'll have to find out, but I've just opened these quickly, and I'm pretty sure from the size and shape of them that these are called um, Wilja. These are the ones that I usually get from um, Wilco's, and I really do love them. If you never know, I might be going past for another reason, and I can pop in and go and see if they've got them. They are doing click and collect as well, actually, but when I looked online at Wilco's, they didn't have any in stock. So these ones I think are Wilja, but um, luckily they are in a egg carton. So I can look at the video that I did with these in, but usually you just have to make sure that you write on everything. I think these are Wilja as well, but look, I've got some more moldy potatoes. So this isn't looking very good, is it? Right, we've still got quite a few to have a look at so okay the next lot are in this tiny little this tiny little bag here and these are some that i saved back from my christmas potatoes that i harvest on christmas eve or the day before christmas eve this year they are absolutely tiny have a look okay so these are called aaron pilot and look how small they are. 
they are the tiniest little potatoes ever and they're not the type of potatoes that you would want to store as seed potatoes but I thought I'm just going to give it a go this year I'll probably start these off in a little plant pot bring them on a little bit before then putting them out into the ground or in pots or something um, but they are absolutely diddy and I think this is one of the reasons why people say that they're never going to grow potatoes in the ground ever again because you only need to leave a small potato this size and you it's like that is like a grape the size of a grape um but i've saved that back because i think it'd be really fun to see how these little grape seed potatoes do and how big a harvest i can get off the smallest potato ever um look at that one it's like smaller than my eye right what is next in the bag hopefully i'm not going to find any more moldy ones because that's quite devastating And with some of these, what I've done is, um, my local council, you get given these free bags to um, put your food waste in, which I don't actually use, but they're quite handy for things like this. And then I can use them for putting compost or food scraps in to take down to the allotment or my wormeries at home. Okay, so the next lot of potatoes here are the orchestra, which are a main crop potato that um, I also harvested on... Um, Christmas the day before Christmas Eve so they're really really small um again I mean even that is quite small for a seed potato but the cheap shop ones I've got here from Home Bargains are about that size anyway so um yes they're a main crop we'll see how well they do this year okay hopefully oh this is not good everybody Right, look away if you've got a weak stomach. Okay, these have gone mouldy as well, unfortunately. Um, and these are the uh, Highland Burgundy that I grew. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they've gone mouldy, so they're going to be in the compost bin as well. I'm just going to put them up there, out of the way where I'll probably forget and drop them down the back of the sofa. So here, okay, so these ones in here, I can tell you I've not labelled them, but I think this one is okay, and this is called Salad Blue, um, which is a main crop potato, and as you can see, should be in focus for you there, that is um, starting to chip. So I think this is salad blue, but if it's not, it's Highland Burgundy and these, these two are okay. So again, there's no label on this one and hopefully there is no malt. Very happy. I think these ones are called uh, Wilshire as well, which are the um, my second early uh, most favourite potato to grow. Um, I'm pretty sure they are, but I will just double check when I um, finish this, that they are that, but they are looking pretty good. They have started to chip, which is like that white little chip on there, but I will take those off. Um, one last thing, let's have a look. Oh, I think I know, right. Okay, if you watch my how to save, <laughs> how to save seed potatoes video, which you'll probably, I've discredited myself on this now because some of them have gone mouldy, which is the first time ever. Um, I've got a bag here, which as you can see, has um, a slightly mouldy potato in there. So I'm just going to leave that and pretend that I haven't shown you that one there. So all in all, I have, um, let's have a quick look. You can't see actually because, hang on, let's have a look if I can just show you this little old table I've got. Let's have a look. Perfect, you can see now. So, um, I've got one lot of Wilshire potatoes there, two lots actually. Maybe, maybe these are rocket. I'll have to have a look, but I've got two lots of seed potatoes there. I've got um, my Charlotte, my Maris Piper, my Sharps Express. There's two lots of um, Sharps Express, and I think, I bought two of these instead of two of these by accident. So there you go. I've got all my sarcomeros here and 
I'm so excited to be growing these this year. And then I've got my little orchestra ones there. I've got my Aaron Pilot there. And then I have my uh, Mozart, which are the, um, the potato growing challenge. If you've not seen the video where I talk about this potato growing challenge, it's an open collaboration for as anybody who wants to join in. So I'll put a video, I'll put a link to that above now. Um, so yeah, that is the seed potatoes that I'm growing this year. I'm actually looking at this now quite scared that I don't have enough potatoes. Um, what do you think? Family of four and we always run out of potatoes really quickly. Um, tell me what you think. Do I need to go and buy some more? The thing is, buying online is, you can never get to see the potatoes, can you? Um, but maybe I will give my local garden centre, there's an independent, like, nursery not very far away so maybe i'll give them a call and ask if they have their seed potatoes in this year um but i think yeah my most favorite potato from last year was the sarcomera so you must let me know what your favorite seed potato is i think i'm going to leave the video here though um thanks so much for watching <laughs> and um sorry that you had to see these moldy potatoes pretty disgusting really isn't it but that's what happens when you save your own seed potatoes you always run the risk of that kind of thing happening so it was nice that I've managed to stock up on some other um potatoes to grow this year also if you have a favorite potato or potato that you would recommend that I grow please leave um, a comment below or even let me know where you buy your seed potatoes from what I will also do actually is I'll put a list of all the potatoes that I'm growing here down below in the description and I'll also put a link to these um, from somewhere that you can buy them online and um, which isn't too expensive if you want to try growing these as well um, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of all of my latest videos. As ever, YouTube have some videos up now on the screen that they think you'll like, so please go ahead and watch those, and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!